channel. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Carly. I'm one of the event coordinators for the 2020-2021 school year here at Northeastern. Today I'm going to be walking you through a little post-run stretch, cool down, yoga routine type thing. Um, it's going to be great. So if you want to stick around and follow along through a post-run cool down, keep on watching. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, I did have a whole standing section at the beginning, but I'm kind of tall and my setup is not very conducive to that. So like anytime I stand up, you simply cannot see the half, top half of my body at all. So I figured I would just talk through the standing section and I'll do it like in the kneel or something. But um, yeah, I try to stand my feet for as long as possible after a run just so I can get my heart rate down before I like I'm completely sitting or laying down. Um, my body has a chance to like slow down, slow the heart rate down. So that's what I would be trying to achieve with this standing section. So we're gonna start just, you know, shaking our body out. I actually didn't go for a run today, but maybe I will later. Um, but we're gonna start with just some deep breathing and inhale, reach up. Exhale up and down. Again, I would be doing this standing, but I can't. <laughs> Inhale up. Exhale down. And then I would do some neck rolls. And some shoulder rolls. Because even though it might seem like running is a totally lower body sport, it simply is not. Your whole body is engaged. And if you're running correctly and swinging those arms, then maybe sometimes your shoulders get a little sore like mine do. Maybe that means that I'm not swinging my shoulders correctly. I mean, swinging my arms correctly. But either way, I just like to loosen up my shoulders here just a little bit. All right, now I would do another inhale, reach up. This time, inhale, or exhale, <laughs> and forward fold. Obviously, I can't forward fold this position, but you guys know what it looks like, I'm sure. You know, feet planted, hands reaching towards the ground, trying to keep your back as flat as possible. You can grab your elbows, swing side to side for a little ragdoll position. Um, and then we'll roll it on up. And one more time, reach up. This time I would exhale down and actually clasp my hands behind my back, open up that chest and do a nice forward fold like this. Bring it on up and then move on to the floor section. All right, for this next section, I am gonna stand up for the beginning of it just cause um, I wanna get into the flow more naturally. So I'm gonna stand on up. You probably won't be able to see top half of my body, but that's okay. So I'm going to start with another inhale up and do a nice swan dive down. And then move to the top of the mat. Let that head drop, plant the hands, and step or hop back into your high plank. I love this position after a run, just rocking back and forth on my toes. It feels so good for my ankles and my feet. We do this just for a little bit and then we're going to do a little chaturanga if you don't know what that is it's basically going from your high plank down into an upward dog and then back into a downward dog so i will go ahead and show you what that looks like my chaturanga is not that good so no one judge me but basically you're gonna i can't oh it's so hard my triceps are so weak um if you can keep your body lifted that's great um, so down, and then we're going to push up into an up dog. And then we're going to tuck the toes and send the hips back into down dog. This is another really great position after a run. Stretch out those feet and ankles and calves. This is where it's going to get super fun. So get excited. This is like one of my favorite stretches for after a run. So, Pedal out those legs a little bit. We're gonna plant our left foot and send our right foot up to the sky. Keep those hips square. 
We're gonna bend at the knee and open up for a little twist. And then we're gonna pull that right leg through to a nice lunge. Ooh, okay. Keep that chest lifted. You should just be kind of on the tips of your fingers. You don't really wanna collapse into those hands. So we're gonna be in this nice high lunge. And I like to bring both my hands to the inside of my right foot. And we're gonna twist open to the right. This feels so amazing after a run. Hold here just for a couple breaths. And we're gonna bring it back down. We're gonna drop that left knee to the ground, come down to the top of the left foot. Really feel that stretch in the right hip. Chest lifted. We're gonna peel it back. Bring those right toes up to the sky. Chest lifted, looking forward. You really don't wanna kind of collapse like this and curl your back. You wanna keep your back as straight as possible. And then just try to get your chest as close to your leg as you can. Obviously, I'm not super flexible, but it's okay. Stay here for a couple breaths. It should feel really nice. And when you're ready, we're gonna roll back through. And instead of coming back up onto the toes, I'm just gonna send my right foot back into a nice tabletop position. So hands and knees, tops of the feet on the floor, nice neutral back. We're gonna do a couple rounds of cat-cow, which is one of my favorite positions or, I don't know, um, exercises ever. So we're gonna inhale, send the belly down, look up to the sky. You can swing those hips back and forth if that feels good. Exhale, arch the back. Look between your legs. Just do a couple more of these at your own pace. Right, so now we're gonna do another one of my favorite poses, child's pose. So this is a little intermission. I'm gonna do a wide-legged child's pose, but if that doesn't feel good for you, feel free to keep your knees together. But I'm gonna put my big toes together in this part and send my hips back. I'm gonna bring my groin all the way onto the mat, reach those fingertips forward. I like to roll out my forehead a little bit here. It feels really nice. Position and we're going to go right into downward dog from here. So we're going to tuck those toes, set our hips up and back. And I'm sure you figured it out, but we're just going to do the same thing on the left side now. Plant that right foot, bring the left foot up to the sky, keeping the hips nice and square, bending at the knee, opening up, nice little twist. And then we're going to bring that knee in and through, planting your left foot for a nice lunge. Keep that chest lifted. We're gonna bring both hands to the inside of the left foot and twist open. You really want to look up towards your hand to get a nice full twist. And then bring it back down, drop the right knee and the top of the right foot. Really sink into that stretch here. But you don't want your knee to go past your ankle. And we're gonna peel it on back. Toes up to the sky. Back is flat. And we're gonna roll back through. And if you want to do a couple more rounds of cat-cow now, feel free to, or you can just send it right back into a child's pose. And this time I'm going to do just a normal child's pose, so toes and knees both together. Set my hips back. Hands forward. So after this child's pose, we're going to Go right back up into our down dog. So from your tabletop, tuck the toes, hips up and back to your down dog, whatever feels good here. And then we're gonna step it forward to a nice forward fold. 
hold. Again, I'm sorry if you can't see my body right now, but when you do, and we're gonna roll it on up. And I'm gonna sit back down because you can't see me. But actually, that's what we're gonna do anyway. So once you hold it up, we're gonna bring it down to the floor for a nice little butterfly position like this to really open up my hips. Feels really nice. Just for a couple breaths here. Clearly, I'm not very strong, but I'm very flexible. And you can also massage the feet on this position, which always feels super nice after a run. Just whatever your body needs right now. And then the last stretch I wanted to do is a laying down figure four. So you're gonna come down to your back, put your knees up, and you're just gonna cross one ankle over the opposite knee. So I'm gonna do right first, right ankle over the left knee. And if you want a deeper stretch, you can grab right under the left knee and just pull in a little bit towards your chest. To use one of my elbows to kind of push that right knee out a bit. Nothing too hard or tight, you know, but just to get that stretch back here feels super nice. And then we're gonna set that right leg down. We'll do the other side. yourself. Go ahead, let go, I'm going to roll up, and that's pretty much it. Um, not super long, just a little yoga flow, cool down stretch type thing. This is such a great um, flow to do after a run. I did it yesterday after my run and it felt amazing. Um, if I had actually gone on a run right now, what I would do is probably roll out for a little bit. If you don't have a foam roller, I highly recommend getting one. Um, it just feels really good to roll out your muscles after you work out. And then I also have been liking runner's legs up the wall or whatever it's called, where you really just like put my yoga mat right up against the wall and just like sit with my legs literally up the wall for like five to seven minutes um probably just scroll on tiktok or something and it feels really good to like just get the blood flowing in the opposite direction and that's not actually how blood works but like you know what i mean so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys liked this um definitely check out all the other exec members videos are going to be super great and i'm really excited for this semester. So yeah, if you liked this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Northeastern Charge YouTube channel, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.